Sergeant Strathcona, followed by Chester Bear Rock and Dune. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last summer, after three major pipeline leaks in Alberta and following damning reviews by two separate Auditor Generals, the NDP called for an independent review of pipeline safety by Alberta's Auditor General. Instead, the government did a quick bait and switch, and with the approval of their friends in the energy industry, they came up with their own hand-picked group to do a review. So, since December, that report has been sitting on the Minister's desk. Why has it not been released yet? Honourable Minister. Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, this government is uh, deeply committed to ensuring that we have a very high-performing pipeline industry in this province uh, because that is so important to our credibility in the rest of the world as well. We have, I sat down, and in fact the report, Mr. Speaker, let's deal with the facts and not the, uh, the grassy knoll conspiracy theories of certain members of this House. Mr. Speaker, the fact is the report arrived in the last month after review by the Energy Resources Conservation Board, and it will be released in due course. Honourable Member. Well, this is Mr. Not Speaker, the assassination. given that providing editing privi privileges to the subject of a performance review is just one more example of this government's commitment to having the fox guard the hen house, and given that the real accountability for pipeline safety performance in Alberta is to Alberta citizens through this assembly, why is the minister afraid of releasing his insider review of pipeline safety while the house is still in session? Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, I'm quite confident that honourable members opposite will be able to generate public debate whether this House is in session or not. And, and so I, I uh, will bring this forward in uh, the fullness of time. What is important, Mr. Speaker, what is important, Mr. Speaker, is to ensure that we have the highest performing pipeline system in the, in the world, in fact, because Alberta, we have 400,000 kilometres of pipeline in this province. We ought to know what we're doing, and we do know what we're doing. Well, how about you tell Albertans what you're doing, given that, as you say, there are over 400,000 kilometres of pipeline running through Alberta, and get just yesterday, Enbridge admitted to breaking safety rules for over 10 years without being called to account by federal regulators. Why won't this government face this issue honestly? Admit there is good reason for Albertans to be concerned and come clean by releasing that report today. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, the, uh, the pipeline industry is an important infrastructure in this province and has been working hard uh, and actually uh, it was this government and it was, it was I as the Minister of Energy who sat down with the industry leaders and specifically said to them, Mr. Speaker, Folks, you need to make sure that the whole industry performs as well as the best an industry can, and you need to get to work on doing that. It was a strong message of, of encouraging industry, and then we started the recovery, and that report will be made available when it's ready in due course.